our wildlife pond we were built in hibernaculum by UK amphibians and all things wildlife. Part 23. Why toads buffo buffo do this. It's the 23rd of March 2023 at night time. As you can see, the frogs have spawned even more frog spawn in the pond. This is the most ever frog spawn we've had spawned in our pond since we built it. If you're wanting to see plenty of amphibians, frogs, toads and newts in your pond, the best time to come and find them is at night time. As mentioned before in previous videos, the reason why they come out at night time because it's more safer and away from predators. Yes, there is owls and things about at night, but there's less things that can predate the frogs. That's why they are more active at night time. At this time of year in March, we also have to be really careful and walking around the garden in the dark. That's why we use a torch to shine round and make sure we don't stand on any amphibians making their way to the pond. If you look closely enough, we have a female palmate new laying eggs on the, the pond plants. As you can see, she's got her hind legs grasped around a leaf and she'll lay one single egg on that leaf. And then she'll go along to the next plant and do it singly on every single leaf on the other plant. And she will move on to more and more plants till she's laid all the eggs she can lay this season. Here's a male frog and a male toad. The male frog is at the back, the male toad is in the front. Obviously the male toads will be breeding soon, so they have now entered the pond to look for females. The, the frogs are still breeding at the moment. As you can see, there's plenty of male frogs around the pond. There's not as many females at the minute, most of them have started to lay the frog spawn but there is quite a few breeding pairs like these here still ready to lay some more frog spawn in the pond so as you can see we have got quite a lot of frog spawn already and there's still plenty more to come and here's another breeding pair of common frogs And another breeding pair here too, as well as a male alongside of them. And this is our dragonfly perch, which is perfect in the summertime where the dragonflies are flying about. If you look closely enough, you can see quite a few newt eggs on the pond plants and there's a female newt looking to be laying some eggs there too. Plenty more male common frogs waiting for female frogs to enter the pond. But I think there won't be really many female frogs entering the pond now. I think that'll be it for now.
Till next year. Here's a nice female frog, which looks full of frog spawn. And then there's loads of male frogs hanging around the frog spawn here too. It's really nice to hear the male frogs calling like this at this time of year, ready to breed with the female frogs. So the next morning we have plenty of rain, which is a good thing for breeding season for the frogs, toads, buffo buffo, newts, as it helps trigger them spawn in the pond. Also, the noises from the pond helps attract the frogs, toads and newts to the pond as they can hear the splashing noises. With the splashing noises, it helps let them know there's a pond nearby. Looking around the pond, there's still plenty of frog spawn and there's still plenty more to come. As we saw last night, around five or six pairs around the pond. So we know there's gonna be plenty more frog spawn in the pond in the next few days too. Here's a nice tulip starting to grow around the pond. And here's the start of another plant starting to grow. Can you guys tell me what, what type it is in the comment section below? Be nice to hear. Here's one of uh, our cowslips starting to grow. Plenty of yellow daffodils growing around the pond as well at the moment, which really look nice. Pond is looking nice and crystal clear. And can't wait for summer time when we see the purple loose drive and all the other pond plants starting to flower. It'll look really nice. See the baskets around the pond. There's plenty of, plenty of pond plants in there too. Obviously it's still a bit cold at the moment for them to grow, but they will start to grow as the weather warms up. Here's a lovely Russian snowdrop here, it's starting to grow nicely. This looks like some lesser celandine starting to grow around the pond too. This is our um, cuckoo flower, which is the host plant of the orange tip butterfly, which is a really nice flower when that gets going. Lovely yellow daffodil here. Our lovely 
dragonfly perch getting nice and wet in the rain and we have a male frog out in the daytime obviously the pond looks quite bare at the minute with it just being springtime and nothing much is growing we do have some primroses some nice primroses there growing too Obviously in the summertime, you'll not see much of this area because it'll be covered in plants, flowering plants. The same in the pond too. We have some nice lilies that come up in the summertime. So if you can watch our videos in the summertime, you will see some lovely flowers, pond fl flowers flowering and plenty of flowers around the edge of the pond. Plenty of wildflowers we've got planted and other types of bulbs, which will come up in the summertime too. This area here is normally full of monkey musk and this lovely plant here. Can you tell me what it is guys? I do know what it is but I'd like you to try and tell me what it is. Obviously another primrose that's self seeded around the pond. frog and just see him to the left hand side there plenty of frog spawn in the pond still plenty more to come with all the pairs we saw last night in the video remember guys if you never saw part one how we built the pond and the ibinaculum the ibinaculum is all around the edges of the pond here where the stone is the gaps are made for all the amphibians to go inside the pond, inside the hibernaculum. It's now the next day, the 24th of March, 2023, and we're doing the aerial view of the pond. As you can see, there's some flickers in the pond. The male frogs are still swimming about, trying to breed. The pond is looking nice and clear with it being springtime plants are looking lovely around the edges of, of the pond you can see all the frog spawn in the pond as you can see it's all laid in one certain area and they do this every year so take note next year when we do some videos and just take note where it's laid because for the last few years it's been laid in the exact same place. If you're new to our channel guys and you haven't subscribed why don't you hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon which if you hit that too it will give you notifications when our next videos come out so you'll be the first to find out when that when they're out um, which to be honest guys there's some really good videos coming up which shouldn't be missed so let's get back to our main part of the video things you need to know about buffo buffo common toads and the things they do as we walk around the garden at night we find a male toad just standing there doing this why do you think the toad is doing this? The reason why the toad is doing this is because he's just been startled by us with the torch and this is a defense mechanism where the toad will blow himself up, make himself, pump himself up real large like a ball to scare away any predators. 
and this is actually what he's doing now and it actually works he's actually still and not moving and he's making himself large which will scare away predators this is fascinating as he's so still he does actually look dead but this is what he wants the predators that are going to try and attack him think this but he's actually alive if you notice we'll give him a little touch and he moves so the guy is definitely definitely alive but he's not moving because he knows if he moves a predator an owl or something around in the night will try and attack him and kill him so that's why they actually stay still like this and not move at all and also pump themselves up to look larger than the predators if they can do also the toxins on these are not a nice taste so most predators will leave them alone with the taste of the toxins the common name for the common toad around the world is called buffo buffo so when attacked or disturbed the common toad adapts a characteristic stance inflating its body and standing with its hindquarters raised and its head lowered its chief means of defense lies in the foul tasting secretion that is produced by its para paratoid glands and other glands on its skin this toxin is called buffagin and is enough to deter many predators although grass snakes seem to be unaffected by it other predators of adult toads include hedgehogs rats mink and even domestic cats birds that feed on toads include herons crows and birds of prey crows have been observed to puncture the skin with their beak and then peck out the animal's liver thus avoiding the toxin the tadpoles can also be poisonous to things like fish normal uh, our common newts um, but not our uk crested newts as these have been known to eat the the toad tadpoles also dragonfly larvae diving beetles and water boat boatmen also will eat the tadpoles but they do this differently by sucking out the juices of the tadpoles by puncturing the skin first and then sucking the juices out in case you haven't watched part one of how we built this wildlife pond, search part one after this video and it will show you the complete pond build of our amazing wildlife pond. Also, if you follow the playlist, you can see many more videos on how the pond develops over the years. Thanks for watching part 23 everyone. Part 24 will be coming out real soon. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like and comment on all our videos. And don't forget to subscribe to see more amazing content like this by UK Amphibians and all things wildlife today.